No, I'm dyslexic and potentially have more in common with Marty R than I would like to admit. So I'm going to give you my list. Okay. One, read the question twice. That's what I have to do. When Don't I try and to... solve the question before you finish yeah, it. Yeah, read it. Read it twice. Right or three times. Okay. My tip number two, draw a picture. If you need it, draw a picture. Okay. Okay, and then my tip number three, solve with just geometry algebra if you can. So in that last example, did we need trig? Okay. So if you can solve it with just geometry and algebra, do that. Okay, then next step, if you can't solve it with geometry and algebra, so if you go back to the, the second problem we worked with, the deflection angle, we couldn't do that with Pythagorean's theorem. We needed trig. Okay, so the next step is solve with trig. If you must. Okay, and then occasionally, I haven't given you a question like this, but there, it's on the sample exam today for the, C, for the CST LSAT. Okay. The last resort, solve with Kogo if you must. So if you have to use coordinate geometry, you can. Okay, but that's the order of operation that I would go through. Okay, then the last, maybe the last thing is gut check your answer. Okay, here's why this is important. Most of these tests you're gonna take are timed. As you move down this list, it takes longer, as a general rule. Um, so, usually if you can solve it with Pythagorean's theorem and you're going to trig, you're introducing an extra step, you're calculating an angle you don't need to calculate. <laughs>